Welcome to day two of the Le Moulin International Horse Trials. The dressage phase is over. We've had some mixed weather today. We've had some sun, we've had quite a bit of rain, which I guess is good for the ground, but we have high winds forecast later, so we'll have to wait and see what happens then. Now, normally at this point, I would introduce the leading riders from both the DHL Presents CCI Four Star and the CIC Three Star Mesmer Trophy, but there's no need to have two interviews because it's just one lady. Bettina, <laughs> yesterday, we were talking about how long ago it was that you won here last, which was 2002 and 2005, and here you are leading both the classes. I know, it's amazing. I'm so proud of my horses. They were just fabulous. Senior Medicot finds it reasonably easy. Um, but designer had to yeah work really hard and he did and he did really yeah fight for me in the arena and just did everything good. Well Senor Medicot is the one that's leading the CIC three star. You're the only rider in the twenties here at mm. Le Moulin this year. It was a beautiful test. You must have really high hopes for this horse for the future. Yeah I do, I do. I love riding him and I obviously would like to keep the ride as possible as long as possible, yes. And designer he loves Le Moulin too. He's leading the four star. Not quite a big, as big a lead actually no. as Senior Medical. Senior Medical has five penalty points ahead of Ingrid Klimka, who's currently in second and third place. But you're, uh, what are you on? You're on 36, Six. aren't you, mm. in the four star. And Yulia Krajewski's on 37.1 in second That's place. Right. So it's a little yeah. bit tighter there. It's definitely very tight, which will, I'm sure, make an awesome competition tomorrow and on Sunday. This is the first year that Mike Etherington Smith has designed Le Moulin's cross country course. How are you feeling about it? What do you think of the course? I think it was a great change uh, to have Mike ES um, building the course. Uh, it looks lovely. I think the horses have got very clear questions in front, um, and so do we. Um, yeah, I've ri luckily ridden quite a few of Mike's courses and I'm very much looking forward to tomorrow. This is a big year for all eventers, it's a European year and there are a lot of very, very good German riders performing very well here at Le Moulin. What are your chances of making that team then for Stregom in September? I don't know, that's probably a question you have to ask our chef Hans Melzer. So we'll see. But this is not doing your chances any harm, let's face it. <laughs> no, probably not. And the horses have gone well in the spring in England as well. So yeah, I think the chances are quite good at the moment. And of course, another important thing to say, the eagle-eyed viewers will spot the orange underneath <laughs> because you are also the Dutch team trainer. Maybe all eventers need to have another job and, tra and train the Dutch team at the same time and still come first in both classes. Yeah, like Hans Melzer said to me, like now that I'm so busy with the Dutch, it's almost like, you know, sitting on the horse and having a bit of a holiday. So I feel quite relaxed about the riding because I've got so much to do when I'm on the ground. Uh, yeah, I guess it helps at the moment, very much so. Yeah, it's a very exciting day's cross country in store here from Le Moulin and you can follow us every step of the way. We are live streaming the four star for FEI TV and the three star is being broadcast on horse and country television in Germany and NDR in Germany are also covering the four star. And of course, I'll be here again with a roundup of all the day's cross country for you tomorrow.